The World Trade Organization has never been led by a woman or an African. But Amina Mohamed is hoping to change all that. She's Kenya's candidate to replace Brazil's Roberto Azevedo as director general of the body that deals with the rules governing trade between nations. And she's emerged as one of the early front runners, although weeks of campaigning lie ahead. The reform-minded minister told Reuters that a closed-door vetting session last week went really well as she outlined her platform to steer the organization out of crisis from global trade tensions and rising protectionism to a lockdown-induced dive in business. I think the rule book needs to be upgraded, and if it's not upgraded, issues will continue to occur. Mm? The negotiating function of WTO has faltered. We need to revive that so that uh, members actually sitting in rooms discussing yeah, and negotiating. For Mohammed, a former WTO chair, a top priority is the resumption of the appellate body. The United States has paralyzed the WTO's main appeals court by blocking the appointment of judges after complaining that it has overreached its mandate. Mohammed, who is seeking Washington's support, expressed some sympathy with the criticism. I think those the, the concerns that have been raised they would not have been raised if they did not if they did not have a, uh, you know a solid yeah reason to raise them. But Mohammed is not the only African woman delegate say is a favorite for the top job. We need an institution that can promote a rules-based system. And she will need to win over those nations from the continent who have expressed support for Nigerian economist Ngozi Okonjo Iweala. The process of seeking support was underway in Geneva last week with countries hosting cocktail parties to show off their nominees. The WTO will eliminate candidates in batches, starting with those least likely to win consensus from the WTO's 164 members.